all my life I was miserable. I had skipped the first grade, so naturally I was younger and smarter than everyone else in my class, which meant that everyone hated me. By the ninth grade, I had no friends. I never had a girlfriend. Life had become unbearable. I just wanted to die. Or at least until I got this book for my 14th birthday, 20 years at sea. Needless to say, I loved it. It was for a while the only good thing in my life. <laughs> and as the book grew in popularity, I found other people like me, dorks and black sheeps and losers. This book was meant for us and we praised it. Jose Rosen had become the embodiment of what we wanted to be. And he wasn't that much older than us. In fact, he was only 17 when he finished the book and 20 when it was published. 20. He hadn't even graduated from college yet. And what's more is that we were from the same town, believe it or not. The same shitty Texas town that I loathe had given the world the voice of my generation. He had done it for a while. The smart, kid in, the smart kid in class, the dork, had overcome all the obstacles. You can't possibly imagine what that meant to kids like me. But then we waited. We waited so patiently. We waited so anxiously. We waited because we wanted to see what happened to the protagonist, Dr. Arthur Alcott. But we never got the answer. See, Jules A. Rosalind had fallen off the face of the earth. When I was finally able to track him down, I realized that it was going to be hard to get him back into the writing game. He told me that he was done with that portion of his life. But I didn't give up. I am not going to give up on Jules A. Rosalind and Dr. Arthur Alcott. And if that means sending him gift baskets or having you entertain him, so be it. 